What's up guys, this is Burr. Today I got a uh, Rock Island Armley 1911 uh, cleaning video for you. Uh, what you're going to need is some cleaner, which I'm using Biostall, which is a cleaner, a lube, and a uh, rust preventative. Militech 1. Got some Q-tips. A nylon brush, or a toothbrush, whatever you prefer. We got some patches. We got a uh, some patch uh, a patch holder, and we got a bore brush and a bore rod, uh, which can be the same thing. I just have two separate ones. So the first thing you want to do is uh, to make sure the gun's safe. So this is what it would look like normally. All right. So to make it safe, to check it safe, take the magazine out, mark the slide. We're safe. First things first, what you want to do here is take the uh, guide spring uh, plug uh, and depress it while rotating the, uh, the barrel uh, retainer here. Uh, and now this is a full size, um, this is a full size uh, one. So it can be a little bit more um, complicated, but it shouldn't be too difficult so it comes right out like such okay after that pull the hammer back and you want to move your slide uh, back where this little divot right here matches up um, with this area back here right about there okay as you can see this little area here is matching up with the uh, uh, the slide release and once you match that divot up right there um, you can pull out the, uh, the slide release, which I just had it matched up. Okay, and at that point, the slide will come forward. There's the bottom part, and take out your spring rod there. And then uh, for the barrel here, you just want to rotate that uh, barrel retainer, take that off, and then you can uh, slide the barrel out. So at that point, you got it all off. Now the first thing that I do is I take some patches here and I'll put those down the barrel like that. <laughs> or not. I'll put those down the barrel like this and I'll spray some uh, some cleaner down there. Today I'm using Ballastol. And I'll do the same thing. You got uh, some blue towels here. Do the same thing with all these parts right here. Take them, spray some cleaner on all of them. Uh, spring, I mean, everything. You just want to, if you're kind of crazy like I am with it, you'll do that. Um, but then I'll let that soak for a little bit and I'll turn my attention here to the, uh, the slide. Now, I don't actually spray the cleaner on here um, like some. What I might do is I'll spray a little bit down the slides here, down the rails. Um, but the majority of the time what I'll do is I'll take my brush here and I'll spray a little bit on there. If you feel you got too much on there, you can just pat it. Because um, you don't want a humongous amount in, on the slide. And then all you got to do is just clean it. Scrub down all the parts here. And uh, give it a good cleaning. And you don't want to get too much uh, around the, uh, the pin area back here. And that's why you don't want to spray it. You just want to Take your brush with some on it and wipe it down, or, or scrub it down. All the nooks and crannies, clean it up, and uh, make sure everything is uh, good to go again. And then on these. Uh,
In the smaller parts, you can use the smaller side here. So you just want to go through everything, make sure it's clean, and then we'll go over with some uh, with a rag, um, and then we'll go over with some uh, Q-tips just to uh, make sure all the uh, the cleaning agent is off of it. We'll go ahead and take another blue towel, and I'll just wipe down um, what I could. Uh, with the towel here before we get our q-tips out and this is about this was 150 rounds that we're through here uh, on this gun um, so it's not going to be terribly dirty but you just want to get all the what you can with that At that point, I'll go ahead and take the Q-tips and get in all the areas that I couldn't previously with the uh, with the towel. Now this gun is going through its break-in period, and it's very uh, very important at that point to uh, get all the stuff off the gun, uh, out of the rails. There could be some maybe. Um, metal shavings, um, very very tiny metal shavings from when you were uh, shooting and it was breaking itself in that could be uh, maybe lodged in here so you want to make sure to get all that out when you're breaking a gun in very very important for you to do that get everything around the, uh, the firing pin you don't want that to be wet. Now this Rock Island Armory uh, weapon itself is a very, very good example of what happens when you buy something that has quality craftsmanship and workmanship done to it. They seem to take uh, very much pride in their product. Um, and it shows with uh, with the product they put out there. I had no problems with this in the first 150 so far uh, rounds. And just get all that cleaner off. Now I'll turn my attention to the uh, the lower part here of the firearm. Spray a little bit of cleaner. I'm on the brush again and I'll just start going over everything don't be afraid to grind it down real good this is only a nylon brush um, so don't be afraid to uh, to give it a good a good rubbing I don't want any jokes about that comment And I'll go ahead and take that towel again. Just go over what I can again, and then I'll finish up with the Q-tip as I did the uh, the slide. And at this point, now that I'm done, I'll go ahead and take a blue towel, spray a little ballast all on it here. Now let's wipe down the uh, the gun here. 
And then I'll go ahead and wipe that off. Just wipe around the areas that didn't get to. And to make the slide look nice for presentation when it all goes back together. Alright, at that point we are uh, done with the uh, bottom part of the uh, gun. So I'll set that to the side. And then I will turn my attention to all these little gadgets, parts that we sprayed down earlier. And I'll just go over them real quick with, uh, with the brush. They probably only need to be sprayed and, and uh, wiped. They don't really need to be brushed, but it's kind of how I roll. Thoroughness. Over thoroughness, I should say. Yeah, if there's anything on there that is uh, stuck, brushing it would get it off. Now let's run down spring like that. Now I'll take a towel and wipe everything off. As you can see, there's a there's some dirt there on everything. Just go ahead and wipe everything down, and then we can uh, work on the barrel. At this point, I'll go ahead and turn my attention to the barrel. Take the plug out, spray a little cleaner on the bore brush. And I'll go ahead and hold the barrel. And I'll get the paper stuck in it. So I'll make a couple passes through there. You don't want to. Um, you don't want to have the. Um, you don't want to hold this straight without having twists. You want to have twists to your uh, your rod, um, as there is rifling in the barrel. So after that's done, I'll go ahead and I'll get another towel. That one's pretty, pretty dirty, and uh, I'll spray this down again on the outside. And I'll go ahead and brush that down. And there's no real particular order to how you do this. You just kind of do it. Um, you can walk. You can clean the barrel first, and I mean, whatever you want to do. I just like letting the uh, letting the stuff, the cleaner, sit before I uh, before I brush it. So then I'll go ahead and take a towel and wipe that off as good as I can and I'll get the uh, get the q-tips out for all the nooks and crannies which will be around this area I can flip that little lever there up get in there dirt out. Clean it in there. So 
So at that point, I'm gonna grab some uh, patches here. These aren't the right size patches, but whatever. Just use a bunch of them. And twirl it if you like. Get your twirl on. I don't know if maybe some of you guys were maybe you guys were cheerleaders in high school. I don't know. Get your twirl on. And you just, we're just run it through until uh, until you get it out and it's pretty clean. This is actually my Glock uh, stick. I got with my Glock. So, in in some way, <clears throat> Glock is helping me clean this one. Sometimes you can flare the ends, and that'll give it some more uh, contact on the, uh, the barrel there. So as you can see there, you can see the rifle in there. Hopefully, how clear, nice and clean that is. All right, so I'll declare that clean. Go ahead and wipe the outside down one last time, and we're done with the cleaning. Now we can move on to uh, lubricating. So what I do with that is I'm using Militech 1. I originally used, let me grab it here. I originally used some new stuff I got, which worked well. It just has an odor to it that uh, I don't really care for. Um, this is the M Pro 7 uh, Gun Oil LPX. I don't know, I'm gonna go back to the Militech 1. Um, for carry purposes, I don't really like the smell on this. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the Militech 1, which also works uh, very well. I was using this for uh, testing. Wait a minute. So, you put a dab, like such, and you don't need a lot. I think I put way too much on there. But, just put a dab on and cover the barrel all over. This is mainly protection and uh, for rust preventive, which people say Militech 1 isn't really good rust protective, but it's better than nothing and the environment that this is in is nothing, uh, nothing crazy. I would just put just a dab Right there. I'll move it around. Like such. Alright. So at this point, the barrel is done. You can go ahead and put a dab on here. On your, uh, spring retainer plug and I like to get on the inside too of everything so put a little Miltec 1 on there and just run that like such a little bit on here and on your spring guide rod a little bit. I'm using way too much, by the way. Militech 1, you don't need to use a lot, but I'm just going rather fast. And I'll just take the rest and, and uh, run the spring through. Same thing. Pretty much just want to do this to everything. Just get a nice coating on everything. This one you can actually put your finger inside. You can finger it. That's something that uh, you like to do. Alright. 
So everything got a good coating on it. I'll wipe my hands off here at this point. I'm gonna bump the camera because that's how professionals do it. Alright, now on the slide here, um, you're definitely gonna want to break out your uh, your Q-tips, but you just want to get a dab on the slide and just run it down it with the Q-tip. And with semi-automatic uh, guns, you don't want to over lube them. Um, I guess that's one misconception a lot of people have for some reason. So, let's take that down. And you can see if you use a Q-tip, you can get a cotton on there. I'll do an extra one here. I'll do some in the, uh, in the safety area. Alright, at this point I'll put a little bit on the uh, bottom of the slide. And right here. Just a film. Let's put a dab right there. Um, on the inside here where the, the barrel goes. Do the same thing here. And where the guide rod goes. Let's go down that. Alright, so at this point, your uh, slide has been uh, lubricated. Now we'll move our attention to the bottom half. As again, a drop and I'll take a Q-tip and spread it. Put some on here. Put a drop on the top here. You don't want to get it around there really. I'm going to spread it. Anywhere metal meets metal pretty much is where you want to you want to oil. At least with a film. At very least you want to have some kind of film on there that's protecting it. Hit the other side which is a little bit trickier because of the uh, all the holes and everything but Use your Q-tip and go down them like that. And you want to go on the slide release hole here and there, there, <clears throat> and you can put a little bit back here. Where the hammer is. At that point you go on ahead and uh, you lubricate the bottom part of the gun. So we'll go ahead and start the assembly of the firearm. Now for the slide, go ahead and put the barrel back in, like such. You want to put your retaining Spring rod in, put that food jiggy up there. <clears throat> now at this point, what I've seen uh, some do is put the uh, the, the barrel uh, retaining nut on to retain the barrel in there. Now at this point. Go ahead and get your firearm. And you want to fit. Yeah, it's going to happen. Let me get a macro of this here. You want to take your firearm, and there's some grooves right there. You want to fit these grooves inside of those grooves. 
which I'm not sure how that's showing up on the, uh, the camera there. So I'll put the weapon back to this little notch again. And at that point, you want to line up those holes there. You can move the barrel back and forth. You might have to kind of tilt it upside down. And you put the slide release inside that hole. And you bring it up. You don't want to scratch right here. You just bring it up and then you can just uh, push it in as long as everything's lined up here. Alright, so at that point you want to slide this forward, safety on to lock the barrel on. At that point, or at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, guide spring and retainer back in. Push it down and bring over your retaining, um, the barrel retainer. Now, this being a full size, um, this can be uh, somewhat of a task at times uh, with just your fingers. Which is what it's proving for me to do here. I can just grab something and push it down. Like such. Now at that point I'll take a I'll take a clean towel and whip the firearm down. Make sure all that cleaning. If you got anything on the on the gun, you just want to clean it off. Anything extra. And at that point, safety off. You're good to go. There's a. Uh, Nothing to it, pretty much. Uh, with the exception of if you get the full size guide rod, um, you might have a little bit of a troubling time doing it, uh, but you don't need a tool. <laughs> There's no tool that's really needed to uh, get this. Um, just some strong hands, which uh, I, don't know. I mean, I don't have. Now that we're done, I'll go ahead and uh, spray this down with a little ballast stall, and I'll just wipe it down. This is kind of for uh, protection and just to uh, clean off any of the, the marks that you might have put on the gun while you were uh, cleaning it. That's how easy it is to, uh, to clean 1911. Everybody kind of might be intimidated by it, but um, there's really nothing to it um, at all. So. That's it. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. But uh, until next time, later.